Yay, I got me some art supplies from Dick Blick. So welcome back you guys. I am just doing a quick little unboxing video of some new art supplies that I have recently purchased from Dick Blick. It was, well, before I spoil it, I probably will be doing a demo at the end of this video, so hopefully you guys enjoy it. And yes, it's the return of me in my robes. So typically I don't normally do unboxing, but I know it's quite popular to do it. Maybe I'll do them in the future. I don't tend to purchase a bunch of stuff at the go, nor do I receive a bunch of like gifts and whatnot. But uh, I figured you guys might enjoy seeing what did I get on Dick Blake. And I think at the time of the recording, they may still have the sale, but basically anything under $35, you guys get a free shipping. But I think more and more retail, um, retailers are doing the free shipping things. These guys, I'm definitely keeping this for um, my own shipping things if the air is still in there. But they're not cheap, so it's a lot of it. So let's see, what did I get here? Let's see, my markers, some sketch drafting, and extra markers. So let's see here. Yes, so recently I had heard on, I don't exactly recall whose blog it was, I want to say from NATO Soup's blog, uh, but they had mentioned that these markers were pretty cheap and then as soon as I looked up on her blog, I noticed a lot of people doing like marker reviews with these guys. So this will probably be, be at another uh, video of me doing some marker reviews because these are actually brush tip and I think they were $15 a pack. So I got two packs of them and I think one was on clearance because it's the old style version but I bought both packs because I noticed that not all the colors are exactly the same and if I do repeat some of the colors like for example the black markers I always need black markers that's fine with me so we're definitely going to see how the dick Blick compares to say Copics or Letra set in my case for some reason, almost all of the cheaper marker sets that I get for just don't have like proper purples. So I ordered three different pastel purples because I like purple. So hopefully, we'll hopefully you are a good shade of purple. Let's see, their catalog that's always nice. French curves. Um, I know I bought these or something like them years ago, but. Uh, I've, I've been moving so much that I don't have them anymore and I know I'm going to be drawing more and more in my sketchbooks and by hand versus a computer so I definitely purchased these and we'll see how that goes for um, any of my mangas that I make they're they're really helpful for when you're making like curved lines and you don't want to have shaking hands and I'm actually pretty good at freehanding them but I want to see how good I can get by using some of these little these little templates and stuff so that's good speaking of uh i mostly bought this for the t-square and the t-square is for making exact 90 degree angle type type line so how do you open this guy and since this already had like other little things like let's see here and again i had I had one of these, but I have no idea where they are because I've moved so much. All this cheap plastic. But this is pretty much what I purchased it for. And um, it's pretty, I mean, it was a $2, was it a $2 set? I think this was like a $2 set. So I don't expect it to be that, you know, sturdy, but this will do what I need it to do. I do have the large metal ones, but this is better for if I'm just drawing on the go. And of course it comes with uh, protractors and its own little mini French curves and some triangles. Now something that I feel like I might have taken, I didn't order, was the little circles. And I don't think this French curve has the circles, which is what I purchased it for. So I think I might end up having to purchase 
some of those ellipses where you can make your circles in a perspective. That's what I would like to have received. I think that's it. French curves, markers, and drafting items. It's kind of hard to see on a clear background, isn't it? Sorry about that. Three extra markers. So I'm guessing these are the newer shafts for the markers. And so yeah, there goes my mini little Blick um, unboxing art, art haul or something like that. And as you can tell, it's very much dealing with drawing traditionally because I've just been on a traditional binge, especially since I work on the computer all day at work. Um, and hopefully we can see some really cool stuff in the future. Um, hopefully this was interesting to you guys. Um, let me know in the comments if you'd like to see more of the sort of art um, materials that I use. And like I said, I'll definitely be demonstrating this in the next video.